Good morning, ranters. This video is sponsored by Nobby. Step away from the screens. Haircut. Look, oh, a new haircut. Nike. Going for that sort of style at the moment. People have more than 50 friends on Facebook. Untrustworthy. There's more than 50 friends, really, that I actually talk to, speak to, interact with. 50 friends or more on Facebook. <laughs> Brabata bins. You know, Brabata bins, the ones you have in your kitchen, the ones with a clicky lid. Click in, click out, click in, click out, constantly. In my house, anyway, it's a, just a constant thing. I've had my Brabata bin probably, I don't know, about 56.9 years. And they're just they're, they're just witchcraft. What sort of witchcraft fuckery are they all about? They never go wrong. Car manufacturers to take a, a leaf out of their book and make cars like they make Brabita bins, Brabita cars. They, maybe they want to get into cars. I'm real. YouTube taking away the uh, dislike feature so people can still dislike, but you don't actually see the dislike. What the fuck is that all about? It actually pissed me right off when they did that. I don't really see the point in it. I don't mind dislikes. It's like a molly coddled world of hugs. Everybody hug everybody. Oh, let's not dislike anything. Let's just like stuff. What a pile of shit. How can you judge how good a video is now by not able to see the dislikes? It's just, it's just crap. I don't mind getting them. People used to hide their likes and dislikes purely because they were scared of the dislikes they got. I don't mind getting dislikes. It, it doesn't bother me at all. And now no one sees any dislikes. It's just likes. What a fucked up world we live in. Not everyone's perfect. Not everybody likes everybody. It's just, you know, the world is, is a bit shit sometimes. But you have to deal with it. I don't fucking hide likes and dislikes. What a load of crap. This one's an anonymous rant. Uh, from uh, a he or a she, I can't actually say who. It was sent in by someone, you know who you are. We're going to call this person Soapy Titwank. Soapy Titwank says, people who buy subs by doing a giveaway, like for instance, someone saying, you know, my 2K giveaway, and they're not even at the 2K, they're like 1700, something like that. And they're trying to buy subs so they can get more subs, obviously, to get to their 2K to enable their giveaway. People like that, you know, you know the ones. Anyway, hope that got it off your chest, Soapy Titwank. Love you. Bye bye. Clean Easy distributors, you know, the ones that put the catalogue, little A5 sort of size catalogue through your door. Um, those fuckwits, you know. Put a catalogue through your door, about that thick, loads of plastic round it, so just in case I had to leave it on your doorstep if you didn't have a, a letterbox. Who doesn't have a letterbox, though, to be fair? But those sorts of people. And they leave it with a note saying, I'll be back in five days to get the catalogue if you don't want anything or if you want to place an order. You know, well, you can fucking come back if you like, but it's in the fucking bin. Don't be cheeky and say you're going to come back for it by putting litter through my fucking door in the first place. Fuck off. Unisex toilets. Yeah, unisex toilets. You know, the thing of European countries normally, now in the UK, at a bar near you. Now, I'm not bothered about walking into a toilet that's got loads of women in it, doing their makeup, doing their hair, giggling, laughing, swigging shots, whatever they're fucking doing. But I'm sure there's a lot of women out there that don't want blokes in there doing similar things, waving their cock about, and not washing their hands. Unisex toilets, personally, I don't think are a good idea. Unless you're the only bloke in there and there's like five hot women. You know, could be game on, but really, do you want to be shagging in the toilet? No. Unisex toilets, fuck off. Really sorry about um, chainsaw wanker in the background, if you can hear it. Also fairly close to a road. Um, I've been really busy today. Not that you really need to know this, but I'm really busy today doing quotes and stuff. And um, it's a Friday, so I thought, well, I've got the rest of the afternoon off, so I'll just come out and do a few rants in the nice countryside rather than London. Hope you like. You people that have uh, crypto apps or anything in crypto 
currencies. Do you find yourself constantly, every single minute of the day, opening your crypto app up, whether it be Kraken or Coinbase or whatever you've got, and seeing how much money you've made? It's, you know, two pound, three pound, four pound, six grand, 10 grand, 500 grand. Everybody who's got cryptos are constantly opening their apps up and checking the scores on the doors, Miss Ford. Total waste of your life. Total waste. Waste of my life. Wasting away. Just checking stuff. Checking cryptos all the time. <laughs> oh. Doctor and dental receptionists, do you actually need a fucking degree in rudeness? Do you? Do you actually go to a fucking university to get a degree in how to be rude as a receptionist in those types of environments? <sighs> do you? Fuck off. Here's a rant from my sponsor, Nobby. Here you go, Nobby. Release the beast. Hello, Lee. Happy New Year. I'm on a boat. Rants. Let's have a little look see. So many to choose from. Obviously, the French. Um, people that stop at the top of the stairs in ferries and shopping centres and escalators and stuff like that should be legal to punch them in the back of the head, to be fair. Easily offended, they get right on my tits. Anyway, my actual rant. People that post personal affirmations, inspirational quotes all over the internet. I don't need some fat middle-aged woman from Chelmsford to tell me that I'm stunning and brave. You're right up there with the sort of people that uh, are in tune with the vibrations and frequencies of the universe. Fuck up. It don't make you sound deep at all. What it does is make you sound like a self-absorbed, pretentious bellend. At least be a little bit, you know, original with it. I get it. We're all eating a giant shit sandwich at the minute. Slap a bit of pickle on it and crack the fuck on. If life gives you lemons, squeeze them in the eyes of your enemies. Bogholm's joined the party and all now. Anyway, I'm going to do one. Ta-da! Tesco's, Sainsbury's, Walmart, Asda, whatever country you're in, whatever supermarket you use, and you're standing behind someone in the queue, and you're literally one behind someone in the queue, and they've got a small basket of stuff. And that small basket of stuff, you think, that'll probably take a minute to go through, maybe not even that, I'll be out of here in two minutes, maybe three minutes. I've only got a fucking pint of milk. And the person on the checkout knows the people that they're, they're serving. And they chat for fucking ages and ages and ages. Oh, bit like a hairdresser. Going anywhere nice on your holidays, Gina? Nah, not really. Just going to Cornwall, you know, down to the caravan. Oh, that's nice. When are you going, Gina? Oh, next week. Fuck off, Gina. Stop talking to fucking Margaret on the, on the checkout. Get your shopping away so I can get my pint of milk, for fuck's sake. <laughs> All the time. All the time, mate. People, mainly blokes, big, sweaty, sometimes fat, sometimes really muscly blokes that take their shirts off in clubs, raves especially. <sighs> One, we don't want to see your nipples, don't want to see your muscles, certainly don't want to feel your sweaty skin against us as we have to squeeze past your moist tits don't do it it's not funny it's not clever yes it's fucking hot in the club wherever you are festival but really you don't need to do it it's just stupid looks stupid makes you look stupid you are stupid just don't do it sweaty horrible nasty boe stinky horrible blokes pushing up against you uh this one's from cole outdoor gear essentials links up there somewhere it's not really. That's the whole point of me doing that. Uh, Cole's rant is about people who do YouTube videos, especially, and then point to a link up here when they're trying to link something, um, which you can't fucking see. You can't see it on your TV. If you've got a smart TV, you certainly can't see the uh, the link up here. 
and you can't see it if you're watching on a mobile phone or a tablet, I don't think. I haven't got a tablet, but uh, I don't think you can do it on a tablet. I think it's more laptopy. Who watches YouTube and stuff on a laptop, really? Most people watch it on their phone or on their big smart TV, like myself. Link in the description, Outdoor Gear Essentials. This rant's from Trev, Trev Packer Photography. All right, Trev, how you doing? Used to be Trev Bearded Bushcrafter, uh, something like that. I can't remember Trev. Known Trev for a long time. Smashing, cracking, lovely bloke. Biggest beard in the world, bigger than ZZ Top. Anyway, hope you're doing well, Trev. Trev's rant is about um, people that send you uh, hi things on Instagram saying, um, follow our page or send this to our page for more Instagram followers. That really grinds his gears. I think his gears have probably ground down quite a lot now. Probably can't get second or third, maybe even fourth. But um, he certainly got reversed, so there you go. Thanks, Trev. See you soon, mate. Total and utter fuckwits that smash into the side of your car with a supermarket trolley. Yep. Happened to me recently. They've just wandered off. No one's left a note, anything like that. Or they've just done it on purpose and just rammed it into the side of my car. New car as well. Not impressed. Why do people do that? It's just totally beyond me. Hot off the press rant directly from Tim, born outside. Link in the description. <laughs> Um, Tim, his rant this morning to me in a little message was about his bad back. He's got a terrible bad back, his back hurts, nasty, anyone with a bad back, I've suffered from bad back, from bad back, I've suffered from a bad back, not even going to do a 3 2 one on that one, for years, but I managed to control it by lifting correctly, etc. I suggest Tim, next time you're picking up that big dildo, lift it correctly. Right, well, hope you enjoyed this little series of rants. Haven't done one in a long time. I was waiting to do one in London, but unfortunately some of my gigs got cancelled, so I couldn't stay in London or stay, you know, overnight raving, if you like, and then do my usual London rants on the way out, which I do enjoy. I um, hope you enjoy them too. I like the different backdrops that you can choose in London quite quickly. You know, in a, in a forest, in a woodland and stuff, it's all pretty samey, isn't it? So... But I hope you do enjoy them nonetheless. Thanks very much for all the rants you've sent in. If you've sent any in, you can always send me more, please, because I do like ranting about things that you like ranting about. Uh, hopefully I portray them in a way that you like. Thanks also to Nobby for sponsoring this video. And um, go check Nobby's channel out. It's, uh, it's up there somewhere. Link's in the description. So... Um, and go check the other guys out that I've mentioned, apart from Soapy Titwank, who wishes to remain anonymous. <laughs> Why, I don't know. But there you go. Um, thanks very much for watching. Burn outdoors. Currently outdoors. Uh, standing in the shade because the sun was in my eyes. Um, and, uh, yeah. May a thousand camel fleas infest your underpants. Goodbye. Bye. This one's an anon 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 an Three, two, one. Fucking thumbs in the way. Three, two, one. <laughs> Lovely bloke. Biggest beer is in the biggest beer. Fucking hell. Three, two, one.